Ah, good afternoon. Ah, I just finished the meeting, the Japanese Congregations uh, Board meeting. I run uh, about 20 yards. <laughs> Test them, yeah. One! Well, uh, this is my first time to, uh, uh, to preach in uh, English service, so how uh, uh, I want to uh, say hello to everybody, and uh, I think you've been a good year this year, all right? Yeah. Amen. Okay. Uh, I had uh, uh, many, many good news, so I'd like to have a little bit of a testimony before I preach. Uh, first, uh, my uh, younger son, Taku, passed the uh, junior high school entrance examination. Uh, she passed the test. Thank you. Uh, uh, his, his brother, uh, my older son, uh, got into the same school, Shudo uh, Junior and High School. It's in uh, Sendamachi. It's a private school, and it's a good school. So I, uh, they both studied very hard uh, from uh, fourth grade, and uh, they passed the exam. Yeah. And the next one is uh, <laughs> my wife will graduate from uh, uh, college, and she's going to be our. Uh, preschool teacher, yeah. It's a corresponding college, so he, she's been studying for uh, three years, and I helped her report a little bit. That, uh, uh, he, she worked very hard, so she, she passed the test, and actually she started her job uh, last week. She got the job before he uh, graduated from school, and she's uh, now in preschool teacher. Uh, it's a Nakayoshi Hoikuen in Nakahiro. Uh, <laughs> and another one is uh, I'm uh, in church of the uh, small uh, pioneer church in Kure. It's called Seto Uchi Church. I asked you to pre uh, pray for that uh, church. Uh, we got a new uh, church building last uh, fall. And now we'll have a new pastor. Mm -hmm. is coming. Now, <clears throat> they'll come to uh, this church uh, March uh, 20th. And thank you for prayer. So I, sh I do not need to go to that church frequently. But they are uh, very talented. Uh, he can speak Chinese and she can speak English. So I will ask them to come to this international service and have fellowship and ask them to preach. And, uh, and so we could have more congregation. Uh, and especially we have some speak Chinese. So, and he wants to, uh, he uh, used to be uh, candidates of uh, the missionary to China. He did not uh, go to China actually, but he has a heart to uh, spread the gospel to chi uh, China, uh, Chinese. So uh, there are many Chinese in Hiroshima and Kure area, so uh, he can reach out to Chinese even in Japan. Uh, maybe that, that'd be all. <laughs> uh, well, well blessed. Uh, praise God. So, thank you so much. Uh, would you turn uh, this microphone for a little bit? Thank you. Uh, this year, uh, I will preach uh, maybe once a month. And uh, I'd like to do some uh, uh, project. Uh, last year, I preached uh, uh, under the theme, The Message of the Cross. And this year, I... I'd like to uh, do some kind of project that is read the Gospel of Mark. Read the Gospel of Mark. So I, and I will explain why. 
first, uh, but uh, basically I, I will read and I want you to read Mark in this uh, service. And I will record this, the, uh, your voice and uh, want put the uh, record on my on our uh, website. And that is uh, because uh, the people are coming and going this uh, congregation, right? And uh, so I I don't know how many people. Yes. Yeah, hundred plus. Yes. Yeah, many people came and went and back their own country or different countries. So uh, I'd like to uh, record your voice. You don't need to tell who you are, but but your voice will be on our uh, website and we'll hear your voice and recognize. Oh, this is somebody. Now where? And then we will pray for you. And also, we, you can hear the voice even you know, from everywhere in the world. And you can uh, you know, rem remind your memory while you're in Mitaki. Is that good? It's better than my voice. <laughs> Another reason why uh, I want you to read the Mark is Mark, the Gospel of Mark, is basically written to recite, to read. And uh, uh, recently research found out that Mark was a storyteller. And the Gospel of Mark is not written to be read, but to you know, recite to the the tell uh, like a story storytelling. So uh, let let me uh, show you one sample. Somebody reading Mark. And then you can imagine what I'm telling about. at your Bible, but uh, in the first century, uh, they didn't have any Bibles. 
So maybe in, in a dark room, uh, only one candle, the story, uh, storyteller hold the uh, maybe scrolls and read. And uh, of course, not in English, basically. But, uh, uh, when you hear, you know, when, when you read, you will uh, make your own idea uh, in your brain. But when you hear the story, the reaction in your brain is a little bit different. Especially someone who read, uh, this is a professional reader. So if you, you know, you, you can hear the little bit difference, you know. So uh, if you hear the voice, uh, somebody uh, reading and he listening, you have a different idea, different image. So that's very important. So um, I want you to read the Bible, maybe by section. Uh, today, uh, chapter one, I'll try chapter one. And I need some volunteer. Uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Seven people. Uh, so please, uh, raise your hand, volunteers. Seven? No? Please. One, yeah, thank you. Two, three. Two, three? I need four. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah? Another? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five? All right, good, good. All right. Okay. Okay, all right. And uh, so please, uh, I'll give you the time to practice. Okay, now. So uh, who is the first? Verse 1 to uh, 8, the beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ and the Son of God. And uh, verse 7, verse 8. Okay, Bob, uh, you're the first. Okay, and section 2, the baptism and temptation of Jesus. Okay, Ian, and the calling of the first disciples. So, okay, so, Matthew, Matthew read Mark. <laughs> Jesus drives out an evil spirit. Amy, okay, and Jesus heals Mary. Okay, thank you. And Jesus prays in the solitary place. Okay, Corey. And finally, a man with leprosy. Go read. A man with leprosy. Everybody? Okay. Maybe I? Oh, thank you. Yes. Does it have to be the NIV? No. Oh. Yeah. Read your own Bible. Yeah. 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 In English, please. <laughs> so, uh, give you time to uh, practice, and uh, please come forward, and I give you a chair. So, please read a little bit slowly, and with some, uh, uh, like, uh, many, uh, intonation, yeah? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, maybe uh, let's read together once, then uh, give you a more uh, image. Uh, I'm not the man who uh, English is my, our, my first language, but I, I try to my best. Okay, let's start. The beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in Isaiah the prophet. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in desert. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight path for him. And so John came, baptizing in the desert region 
and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They are baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me will come one more powerful than I, the songs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, that he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As Jesus was coming up out of water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. This, this is very important. This is the voice from heaven. See? You have to read. As a father. <laughs> yeah, good Ian. You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. See? If you, you know, this is my uh, purpose I want you to read. When you read before in front of the people and you have to show the, the, uh, the, the uh, meaning of the sentence, you know, you have to express somehow. If you do not understand the meaning of the sentence, it's not easy to express, you know, the... So, uh, like these sentences, uh, or if uh, you read the, the prophets, the verse 2 to 3. So this is the uh, Isaiah voice. So you have to uh, uh, kind of image, you know, this is the idea, the, me the prophets, the idea. I will send my messenger ahead of you. <laughs> kind of like... It's too exaggerated, you know. Okay, let's let's read together. You are my son, whom I love. With you I'm well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the desert, and he was in the desert forty days. Being tempted by Satan, he was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. So please... Uh, read over action, you know, over exaggerate. Uh, not read like a flat. Okay? Okay? So give you three time, three minutes to read your part. Practice. Are you guys all ready? 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 You can do that? Okay, great. Okay, let's do that. And uh, ask you the comment after that. Give you the chair. I give you the chair. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Oh, this is good. This is good. Ah, okay. So here? Yeah. The microphone. Yeah, yeah. This is very important. So it's very important. Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> close your, please close your eyes. Concentrate. No okay. snoring. <laughs> okay, go. You ready? The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. John came baptizing in the wilderness and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside 
And all the people of Jerusalem were flocking to him. And they were baptized by him in the Jordan River as they confessed their sins. John wore a camel hair garment with a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. He was preaching, Someone more powerful than I will come after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the straps of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Oh, good start. Wow. Okay, Ian. Come on. Wow. Can you imagine a little bit? The, the sight of uh, Galilee and Jordan River. Okay. If you're ready, start. Close your eyes. <laughs> yeah, close your eyes. <laughs> At a time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once, the Spirit sent him out into the desert, and he was in the desert forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with wild animals, and angels attended him. Thank you. Okay. A voice from heaven. Thank you, Matthew. Okay. Uh, after John had been put in, pris in prison, Jesus went to Galilee and preached the good news from God. The right time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is near. Turn away from your sins and believe the good news. As Jesus walked along the shore of Lake Galilee, he saw two fishermen, Simon and his brother Andrew, catching fish with a net. Jesus said to them, Come with me and I will teach you to catch people. At once they left their nets and went with him. She went a little farther on and saw two other brothers. James and John, the son of Zebedee. They were in their boat, getting their nets ready. As soon as Jesus said, saw them, he called them. They left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and went with Jesus. Ah, thank you. Good. Yes, good. Okay. Thank you. Jesus drives out an evil spirit. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teacher of the law. Just then, a man in the synagogue who was possessed by an evil spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, Jesus said sternly. Come out of him. The evil spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, What is this? A teaching? A new teacher? With authority? He even gives orders to evil spirits and they obey him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. Thank you. Great. Hey. Oh, be quiet. Huh. 
Jesus heals many. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Thank you. Jesus prays in a solitary place. Very early in the mo very early in the morning, when it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place, where he prayed. Simon and his companions went looking for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages, so I can preach there also. That is why I've come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Thank you. A man with leprosy. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Filled with compassion, Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said. Be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was cured. Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning. See that you don't tell this to anyone. But go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Instead, he went out and began to talk freely, spreading the news. As a result, Jesus could no longer enter a town openly, but stayed outside in lonely places. Yet the people still came to him from everywhere. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're a great reader, great teller. Yes. Uh, from uh, next month, uh, the one who did not uh, did not read today will read. Okay. But uh, of course, you can read uh, twice in one uh, again. But uh, I want you, all of you to read, and uh, please record your voice in our website. Uh, what, what, what do you feel when you read or when you hear the story? Is there any difference between just read with your eyes? Ian? What was the difference? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when you read with your voice, you can hear your own voice. Yeah. So you have some different uh, idea or different feelings. I heard from someone when you find very to read out Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. When you hear, it's easy to remember than you read with your eyes. Yeah, voice can uh, stay in your mind. Like, I still uh, stay, somebody read, be quiet. You know, very deep in my heart. Yeah, like a 
Is there any comments? Reading, listening? The same? I hope you will uh, uh, make the, your image, uh, make your own picture in your mind when you hear, you know. Uh, God gave us the Bible uh, with the letters, with the words and sentences. God gave, uh, did not give us or did not do, does not give us the video or DVD. Uh, it's not the the uh, matter of time, you know, because God can send Jesus Christ this time, 21st century, but God sent His Son in the first century. They have letters, they have words, they have the uh, written materials, and uh, they had a good language is Greek. God uses Greek uh, to uh, reveal his idea, to record what he uh, wants us to know. But now we, in the 21st century, we are the uh, men of visual, you know. Uh, we all always watching TV and pictures, so we, we, um, we are so uh, uh, possessed by the, the uh, moving images. But God gave the words. That is, uh, the words will come in our mind and brain and heart and make our own picture. Like when you read the, when you hear or read the uh, John the Baptist, he wore uh, the uh, camel's hair and leather belt. I've never seen the camel's hair and uh, I have the leather belt but uh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> so you have all different uh, uh, pictures. The imagination. Yes. But God allow us to Im imagine, you know. And when John the Baptist uh, he was a forerunner and he uh, put the people in the water and taught them the baptism. But he declared that the one, the one who will come later after me will have higher authority. I will baptize with water but he will baptize with the Spirit. That is not the image we can, we can make, right? Even Steven Spielberg cannot make the picture of spirit. <laughs> but if you if we make some ideas, you know, maybe we'll be different from God's idea. But the image we make in our mind through the words, that is the uh, the connection uh, between we and God. You know, so. The picture of Jesus is different. Maybe uh, we are, we have the image of Jesus like uh, some of the famous pictures, right? Uh, most of the Jesus pictures are Americans or Europeans, white, long hair. Yeah. But Jesus is Arabic, actually. Yeah, he's Jew. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know when, but uh, some years ago, the BBC uh, made the uh, Jesus image, right? It's like uh, uh, Arafat or some kind of uh, Near Eastern leaders. So, the, the people in the United States and Europe, they, they hate that image. But Jesus was uh, the, the, the one, one of Arabic people, you know. So, but God did not, God does not want, wants us, uh, give us any correct picture of Jesus. So we can make our own. Yeah, Japanese, like, like Japanese, like Chinese. If you go to Africa, I heard, 
uh, you guys in Africa, the, in Africa, Jesus is black, right? Right? Yeah. You cannot imagine that. Yes. Yeah, if you go to China, they, they make their Chinese like Jesus image. That's true. I saw that. Yeah. But that is, uh, you know, God wants us to some image, make our own story in our brain. But through the image, we'll, uh, we'll have the uh, idea what God wants to want us to know. So especially reading and hearing makes us more uh, like ability to have the image. So I want you to read the Bible, use your voice, and uh, or read or hear. Do you know uh, some website uh, or just uh, Bible and uh, reading or Bible or and uh, uh, audio? I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I sometimes uh, check that website and just listen to the Bible. Yeah, if you're uh, tired to read, just listen. Yeah, your computer re reads. Yeah, this the voice that I recorded from the from uh, one of the website. Yeah, professional reader, read for you. Yeah, and listen to the image, uh, the the word of God, and make your image wider. Uh, in in Mark, Gospel of Mark. Uh, we read uh, chapter 1. Maybe somebody uh, recognized that Jesus came out just suddenly. You know, no introduction. Just John and Jesus. No story of birth. No genealogies. Just, came, just Jesus came up and went to the desert and came back to Galilee and started healing. What a guy! Yeah, and he uh, went to the Sea of Galilee and called some uh, fishermen, come follow me. And they went. That's too quick and too easy. Yeah. But, verse 35, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to the salty place. You know, this is the like contrast. You know, he uh, showed himself with power, drove the demons, healed the uh, sickness. But one night, still in the dark, he went to the solitary place and prayed. But poor his uh, disciples found Jesus. Even he was praying in solitary place. Jesus, what are you doing? What are you doing now? The people are coming and come and heal them. And Jesus like, oh, I'm so disappointed in you, but we have to go in the different places and drive out the demons. And then the man of leprosy came and he filled his compassion and he reached out his hands and touch the man, and I am willing. Be clean. So we'll imagine his his uh, active part and his uh, uh, non-active part, the prayer and doing something. But the, the Jesus in Mark is very busy. Very busy. I, uh, so, from next next month, we'll read chapter 2, 3, 4, and Jesus is always doing something. But not his will. We'll see. Jesus wants to have a fellowship with God, but somebody get him to do that. You know, he, he like, like it was driven by some somebody or maybe the, the spirit, the people. He was went to the uh, desert by spirit. 
but finally he will go to the heaven, uh, go to the uh, the cross. So let's read it together and uh, try to understand the Gospel of Mark, and let's get some good food together. Man, thank you. Thank you for cooperating. 